Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be setting up your new iPhone 12 Pro. So let's get started. So the first thing we should do is install our SIM card. Inside your box where your iPhone came in, you should have got something like this. And inside this, you got this key. This is important. However, if you lost it, just use an earring for the next part. And this is a SIM card. What we need is a nano SIM card. That's the smallest one in here. So we're just going to take that out. And this is the SIM card that we need. Here we go. And we just need this key or an earring. Okay. On the side of your phone, where your volume keys are at, you will see down here, this hole, just press onto it. Your SIM card tray will pop out. Just take this out. And then we're going to place our SIM card in there. How does that place? Well, just put it like so on top of it. That's how it's supposed to fit. And we're going to take our phone. We're just going to place that in there and we're done with that step. Now, before I turn on my iPhone, I do want to mention that you can use the SIM card that you have on your current phone as long as it's a small one, a nano SIM card. If it fits in there, you're good to go. You guys can use it. And can you set up your phone without using a SIM card? Sure. You don't have to put it in right now, but for now, anyways, on the side, you will see this button. That's your Siri button or your power button. Just press on it until we see an Apple logo. Once we see the Apple logo, we can let go of this. There we go. And then it's going to load up. At this point, we should see something like so. Just swipe up and we're going to see our languages. So just pick whichever language makes sense to you. We can pick any of them. Scroll down to see more. However, we're going to pick English in this case. Your region, same deal. We can scroll down to see more regions and pick the one that's correct and makes sense with you. In this case, we're just going to pick the US and we can do this. Quick start. Quick start is great. They have actually perfected this. Before it was not great, but right now it actually does get you a quick start if you had an iPhone from before. I do have another video that shows you how to transfer information from your old phone to your new one. In this video, we're assuming you're brand new to Apple, so we're gonna set up everything manually. However, if you had an iPad, iPod Touch from before, we can do the quick start. And it's just placing that iPhone or iPad right beside it and we can go ahead and do this. Again, I do have a separate video showing you how to do that, the quick start, plus how to transfer all your information from one phone to another, but that's another. This is just a basic setup video. So we're gonna go ahead and select down here below. We're gonna see setup manually. We're gonna select that. From here, we just have to select our Wi-Fi network. In this case, it's tech and design, putting our password. Once you put in your password, you will see this screen popping up and just wait for it. And no, you don't have to charge up your iPhone until later on. So we do want our battery to go down maybe to 10% or so and then fully charge it to 100%. Anyways, right now, data and privacy, we can just continue on. Face ID is really simple to set up. So we're going to do that right now. It's just moving your head around basically. So we're going to continue on. And on this screen, we see kind of a quick tutorial of how you're supposed to move your face around so it gets all your angles and that way it works properly. So we're going to go ahead and select get started. Now this for me would be a little bit difficult, but that's okay. Once that's complete, we're going to see this. Press continue, scan your face and we're done. Okay. So for me, that was a little bit more difficult because I have the camera in the way, but anyways, continue on. We're going to set up a passcode. You should set up something that you will remember for sure or we do have other options so we can have more customizable options down here below. In this case, we're going to go ahead and just do our standard. Do not use what I'm using because that's way too simple. Once we type that in twice, we're going to be taken to the next screen. This right here is the most important screen actually out of all of this setup. And that's because I do have a video showing you guys how to transfer all your information from your old phone to your brand new phone. So there are several options in order to do that. We do have these right here. And we have even moved data from your Android to your phone, which isn't the best, but it still works a little bit. For now, we're just not going to transfer anything. We're assuming you're brand new to Apple. And from here, if you're brand new to Apple, you wouldn't have an Apple ID. Now, I do have another video showing you how to create an Apple ID from the beginning. However, if you guys would like to create one, just tap down here below and then tap on the second option, which says create free Apple ID. From here, it's just going to take you through a few options and then you're gonna be done. Anyways, for now, we're just gonna go back. I just wanna show you something else. We do have the option to set up later in settings or Apple ID. 
So we're gonna select that right now. And I'm just gonna put in don't use. We're gonna agree. We're gonna continue on, continue on. And for sure we wanna continue on Siri. Siri can be accessed different ways. We can access it just by talking to it or by pressing this button on the side. Right now what we're gonna do is set up Siri to actually answer our own voice. So we're gonna continue on. Hey Siri. Hey Siri, send a message. Hey Siri, how's the weather today? Hey Siri, set a timer for three minutes. Hey Siri, play some music. And then we're done. So all we have to do is read that so it recognizes our voice and we can go ahead and continue on. This will give us a quick tutorial what I just mentioned. Siri can be accessed just by pressing that or saying hey Siri. We can also share our audio recordings. Now this depends how much privacy you guys want. In this case, we're just gonna share this. Screen time. Screen time is really good to have if you're a parent because you can put a lot of restrictions. You can restrict your kids from downloading any apps or how much time they can spend on their phone or even how much time they can spend on games and apps and there's a bunch of stuff in there for you. And for adults, you will be able to see how much time you spend on the phone itself. So if this is for you, most likely you don't really care about that stuff. We're just gonna set that up later in settings. And right here, we do wanna share this with developers. And this part just shows you this. So it's kind of self-explanatory. It's just about the screen. We're gonna continue on. This part's pretty cool because what I like usually is the dark mode. However, for videos, usually light mode is better. So in dark mode, yes, it's better for nighttime. It's easier on the eyes. However, light mode is better for video, so I'm gonna keep it on video. Continue on. At this point, we can have everything zoomed in or just your standard. Zoomed in is good if you need glasses, if you like everything a little bit bigger in size, which by the way, we can make everything even bigger than what it tells us right now. For now, we're gonna keep it at standard because that's good enough. And welcome to iPhone, we can just swipe up and get started. If it locks, just swipe it up to unlock it. And we are pretty much done. If you swipe to the left, you will notice all these widgets. Let's just swipe back and swipe and swipe. Click OK and you're gonna see all your apps. So these are all your apps into different folders. If we go back again, we're just gonna see our apps. So that's all the way here. It's not that we have more apps. These are just the same apps. They're just into different folders organized for you. That's really useful if we have a ton of apps. Right now, if you would like to download any other apps, download them from the App Store, which is necessary to have an Apple ID, so make sure to set that up. If you would like to change anything about your phone, you can do it right now in settings. However, for now, we are done our setup for a brand new iPhone. If you guys have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.